In the time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. The wrath of the primordials. The very beings who forged the earth. Raged out of control for an eternity. And from this rage, this madness of war, the Furies were brought forth. Neither Titan nor God, mortal nor shade, the Furies were bound to no one. For they were the guardians of honor, the enforcers of punishment, the bane of traitors. When Zeus came to power, he found he had little to fear from the sisters. The Furies sought retribution only for those whom they deemed guilty. The first of these traitors was Aegean the Hecatonchores. When the brute pledged a blood oath to Zeus, only to later betray the king of the gods, the Furies were quick to take action. The sisters relentlessly hunted the Aegean, and upon capturing the creature, tortured him without mercy. For the Furies believed death was too kind for this oathbreaker. The Aegean the Hecatonchores became an example to all. A special symbol for those who might think to break a blood oath with a god. Kratos, the great Spartan general, was finally defeated. Driven mad, tortured and uncertain of his surroundings, the warrior found himself captured like a fly in the web of the Furies. Never. Hello, Kratos. <laughs> What's wrong? You seem confused, Kratos. Having trouble remembering our special time together? But then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. Electo was never one for manners. Not to worry. I am quite skilled at teaching RESPECT! you've taken. 
I owe you that. That's awesome. Oh man, I really miss this shit. this game folks do I have my control now I not be ruined by a mortal. <laughs> yes I am finally guys and you girls Ares chose, you, but you are Ares chose us okay so pretty much setting up uh, I guess what is the prequel to God of War 1 2 and 3 and finally I'm excited to be playing this game Oh man, I just picked up this game on Tuesday, um, been dying to play it. I love, absolutely love all the God of Wars. Obviously I never played the, the PSP one, Chains of Olympus, or the other one, which I should. You are a worthless no, you're worthless. So, I tell ya, uh, God of War, I called it God of War Trilogy, if you haven't seen my Let's Play of it, check it out. New. Square and triangle moves will un be unleashed only when the rage meter is full. Okay, so it looks like they added a new feature here. Um, in the other games, I know there were the, the Sparta mode or whatever, or Spartan mode, when he got angry. Here, it looks like he has like a meter, which is kind of cool. Um, anyways, yeah, so... I am really excited to play this. Um, I played all three God of Wars. If you haven't seen my Let's Plays, check them out. God of War Trilogy, I called it, with God of War 1, 2, and 3. And it ended up being one of my most popular ones. And here we are playing the brand new game. I've never played this before. Obviously, it's new. I don't know what I'm doing. And this is pretty much blind because it's a new game. So we'll see what happens. As you might. You will never catch me. And clearly that obviously means that um, I'm not going to be getting everything because I don't know where anything is. And I refuse to watch anyone else's playthroughs or anything of this game because I don't want to spoil the game. But hell yeah. Freaking awesome. Okay. So I don't know what I'm chasing. I don't know what's going on here. There's notes. There's all kinds of things. A record from the uh, scribe of Heck Punk. Heck... <laughs> Hecka uh, Tonkers. I don't know. They pronounced in the beginning cutscene. I don't remember how they said it. Every night they come into my cell. It is unspeakable what they do. Majira's parasites. I cannot rid myself of them. Alright, so. Whoa. Well, that's kind of cool. So he smashes the the orb things now. That's interesting. They changed that around. Um, so, so far, the graphics are really nice. It looks just like God of War 3 graphics, so. I'm, I'm impressed. Die, Damn. Wasting no time. Now, one thing I did hear about this game is that all the... There is no save points, that everything is auto-save. So I'm really curious to see how that works. Oh my god. <laughs> that poor man. Someone help him. He's gonna die. Oh... Uh, here he comes. Oh, it possessed him? I thought he was gonna die! R1 to grapple to enemies. Okay, that's cool. So one thing I, I did hear, you know, because I did uh, check out some reviews of the game and whatnot. I did hear that... Okay, so it looks like... Looks like uh, you have to attack enemies to get this rage meter up or whatever, which is, which is kinda cool. How do I grapple? I don't know what I'm doing. I did. I am playing on normal difficulty, obviously. Oh my god, enemies! So one thing I did read on the reviews is that a lot of people feel that the gameplay is a little more difficult than other God of War games. I don't know how true that is or not. I guess I'll find out. 
Um, but so far, it seems pretty easy, just like the other games to get used to. I don't have any moves or anything. So I'm just pretty <laughs> smashing everything to death. Throwing things against fire pits. Yep, just like the old days. Now, obviously, this is a prequel, so I don't know if... I don't, I don't expect Kratos to be as badass as he was in the other games. Oh, who am I kidding? He's even more badass. Because this is, I guess, the start of when he became evil, or is this after he became evil? I don't know. All I know is I'm going to kill everything because I'm crazy. So far, I'm having an easy time. Having no problems at all. Except, good God, is there a lot of enemies. Die. What is this? A sword. L1 and... Okay, what did I do? L1 and circle for special discard. Press A. Press circle to attack. The sword. Well, how do I use it? You will perish in your attempt to be free. Okay, whatever. I like my chains better anyway. Let's check out the inventory. Blades of Chaos, and it looks like they kept the same concept as the other games, all the question marks. Cool, cool. Um, how do you power stuff up? You need 3,000 orbs to power an item. Okay. I have 688 orbs. Just like the old days. Oh. So it's pretty cool to, you know, I finally am getting back into uh, Let's Playing now after being away for a while, and it's pretty cool to come back to starting a new game, and not only a new game, but a brand new game that just came out in stores, so... A li all Shut your hole. He is infected. You're all infected. A little bit different for me, you know? Okay, I don't even need that health. I'll grab it anyway, what the hell. Oh, so this, so the health orbs, he'll still open, but he smashes the other one, that makes sense. Oh, Kratos, I never understood you. A record from the scribe of Hecatech. Oh God, I'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing that name throughout the whole game. <laughs> An oath to the gods is too easily sworn and not so easily broken. The Furies see only their vi their version of right and wrong. Whatever. Another save? You just saved. All right. I don't know how I feel about not having a save point. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, but at the same time, I, I can see why they did. I guess they don't want you to know when boss fights are coming up. It's the only thing I can think of. You can turn off the hint. Okay, okay, already. I, I lo I'm loving the scenery. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a little different than I'm used to from other God of War games, but it looks like like an ancient palace or something. I don't know. It's it's cool. You will see how we treat Oathbreakers here. On enemies with when discarded. How do I use it? Oh, 